10 years after Grand Theft Auto 5 drop, we finally got the trailer for the next one. You really spoil us, Rockstar. Calm down. Oh, someone's been working hard. Now, I've played every single Grand Theft Auto. Like, a lot of you new ones, right? You young whippersnappers out there. You only remember 3D Grand Theft Auto. I remember the bird's eye view. Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2, Grand Theft Auto London, I was there. No one's earned this more than me. And in 12 hours, 58 million views have been racked up. That must be a record. I am going to pause it a lot. So the first shot we're getting, you've got someone towing a boat there. You've got lots of different kinds of buses, vans, trucks. Very sunny, little plane in the air there, birds flapping around. A living, breathing world, as we're used to. But this is going to be next level. Lucia. Okay, we've got a woman main character here. Now, looking at her, she looks uh, very pretty. Uh, she's obviously in jail, so she's a bad girl, which we all love that. The problem, and this isn't me being sexist or anything like that, before you try and get us on that, cancellation number three coming up, we've got a game here that requires you to be a really good driver and beat people up. Is anyone else thinking what I'm thinking? If she, at any point, is beating a load of blokes up, it's not going to feel realistic to me. Let's just hope that, you know, they don't make a superwoman. Just keep it realistic. That's all I'm saying. Maybe she could be a good driver. Some women are good drivers, to be fair. <laughs> Do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. Oh, wow. No, this looks fucking unbelievable. Dolphins. I do love a dolphin. You had a speedboat going across there. Looks like more dolphins, birds. It's living and breathing, and it's next gen. This ain't going to be on PlayStation 4. It's time to get with the program, lads. If you haven't got one yet, this is the game you're going to buy one for. And to be honest, you've done the right thing if you haven't got one, because most of the games for PS5 are shit. But this will be worth it. Oh, Wow. Oh, wow, it looks like Miami were in here. Aeroplane up there, flying a flag of some sort. This will be Vice City then, which was one of my favorite Grand Theft Auto games ever. I love Vice City because there's so much character in Miami that it comes across really well in a game. Tune as well, by the way. Back in the day with the old buildings and stuff, the level of detail was extremely lacking. Like, it was quite generic at times, you know, the windows would all look the same, etc. If you look closely here, each curtain is drawn in a different kind of way, which even though it's just a tiny little detail, it makes it feel more real. And the buildings are shining, and the level of detail in the graphics is really there. And I love seeing this because that tells us, like, like with Grand Theft Auto V, yes, you've got the city, but you've also got the countryside. And driving one of these friggin... What are they? It's like with them dudes in fucking Australia who gone past fucking crocodiles and shit. That looks cool as fuck, though. We're on the beach now. The fact that this amount of detail is in all of these random little characters here is outrageous. I can see this dude six-pack from a fucking mile away. And that wasn't the first thing I looked at. If you're wondering, it was that. They've really made the women here very thick. Not complaining. They're all thick, though. This is going to be a great game, isn't it? Again, you've got, like, a helicopter in the background. You've got this guy with, like, an ice bucket uh, for drinks. This dude here has taken a selfie. So I know that this is an old-fashioned 80s Vice City. It's modern Vice City because my first thought is, are we going back in time again? Oh, sick. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Driving the speedboat is so fucking cool. This is the girl again. I'm pretty sure this is Lucia. So she is being driven by someone else here, which I'm assuming we might also be able to play. And what a fucking... Is that like a Zonda or something? That looks cool as fuck. That car. Again, being a woman as the main character, like, I like to customize the outfits and stuff. And all of a sudden, I've gone from, like, yeah, that hoodie looks cool to, does my handbag match? I'm not sure that's gonna suit me, but I'm up for it. Embrace the feminine side. Oh, wow, now we're fucking talking. In terms of customizing your cars, you can see the level of detail in this with the alloys and stuff like that. This is next level, this, from compared to anything. We knew it would be, but, like, you've got this car, which is a lowrider, obviously, very low to the ground. You've got this one that's extended right high, so you can fuck around with your cars as much as you want. Nothing is impossible by the looks of this. All these different patterns, it's not going to be basic, like last time, of pick a color and then a secondary color. People at a glance now look far more real, like, the little creases in these jeans and stuff like that. You've got a motorbike there, which looks fucking unreal. You've got now window markings so that you can, I don't know, promote your business and stuff. She tried to make oh, all right, we're in the strip club. Make it rain Mondays, it says. That is a quality little detail there. You've got the girls with the sparklers there. P. Diddy in the house? Hopefully not. I don't know if I can capture this, but her arse jiggles in a very different to any other 
Grand Theft Auto way before. The mechanics have been upped. They've made bums jiggle. This is massive for gaming. Pretty soon, we won't even need to go to the strip club in real life anymore. It's going to be far cheaper. I like that they're thinking ahead. The patterns on the back of t-shirts. These are the things that we haven't really seen a lot of. Balloons everywhere. Like, it's so much more living and breathing. Right, look at this. Oh, my God days the amount of detail and the tattoos on this geezer that is insane like the old tats remember how shit they used to look they were like mine you can see how much detail is in the gold on his chains and stuff here and the little medallion like it ain't just a basic gold circle there which was pretty much what it was at times before even in the facial hair and everything this is unbelievable for an open world game which is far more difficult to have the level of graphics that you see on other games because you're literally having to cover every blade of grass in this so i mean fair enough like they've made us wait a long time for it but it looks like it's going to be worth it he's got a grill in F me i didn't even see that we got basically a big shot of Miami here. You can jump on these boats. There's so many little boats there. My favourite thing about the old Vice City was having them big f*** off Scarface house with a helipad on top. I hope they've got something like that for this. One of the things that they stopped doing from Vice City, the original one, is being able to build an empire and actually have like loads of little businesses that felt like you were actually earning off them and living and breathing in their own right. I hope they go back to more of that so that you can build up. This Porsche looks like the real Porsches. You know how they did like copies of Audis and stuff like that and you were like, yeah, it's almost like the exact car, but they've made tiny little changes. That looks exact to me. You've got people begging on the streets. So real. My chuck them a quarter. These chicks again, extra thick. I mean, they've done everything right. I hope you can go into more random buildings rather than it just being like the occasional one the more of that where you can interact with random situations random buildings the more real it's gonna feel that's a pretty badass car as well to be fair all right we're at a rave now flying an airplane what's going on there is that a fucking lorry in the fucking sea i'm dying for this already they've got it take my money yeah, we Okay. Even the bikinis now have like little patterns on them. It's just every little detail has been increased to the max. She looks like she's having a lovely time. Oh, we got social media. That's at the dad bod squad. So I'm guessing this is a bunch of like dads who are then shagging all these like models or whatever and they've made themselves a stupid name they've really nailed social media and you can follow them on social media so i'm assuming like within the game you'll have your own form of social media sick they've got a crocodile here in the swimming pool and the skis are having to get him out right they've definitely got jiggle physics in this because this bitch is on this car shaking her bum and i've never seen anything like this in a game before Wow, CCTV of a crocodile entering the shop. It feels so much more interactive. They've leveled the f up here. Oh, I love that. First person view of the, uh, some gameplay there. That's actually a little bit of real meat and potatoes that we're getting from this now. We've got more wild and crazy characters. We've got this dude running away from the cops who was hot bollock naked it looks this dude's getting out in the middle of traffic losing his shit kind of got that trevor energy this guy's hanging out the side of his car this man is watering his garden in a thong we don't need that do we we've definitely got some like weird hillbilly shit going on they're called the thrillbillies mud club how's her top managed to stay so clean and yet her breasts are so muddy we'll never know well look who's back oh wow oh yeah yeah, I'm down for some first-person driving. Oh, so this must be a fella. I'm assuming, just like Grand Theft Auto V, we can flick between Bonnie and Clyde, basically, which is what we've got here, is like a romance who are going to be the heroes of the story. I've got no problem playing a woman, but we just have to have a realistic scenario where, like, if it kicks off and there's a fight, we, we need some sort of realism where the guy comes in and helps her, and she can be, like, the clever, cunning one who's good shot or whatever, and he's the one who does a bit of the heavy lifting. And now we're moving on in the world and everyone wants equality, but men and women can't punch equally. It'd be nice if they could, wouldn't it? I'm all for it if it's possible, but I just don't think it is. I've watched a lot of UFC. But no, this guy looks pretty cool. I like the, um, the way they've sort of designed him. He's got this bandana on, which he probably covers his face with when he's doing a bank robbery or whatever. We're gonna get through this. I like the voice that they've used for this woman, uh, whoever it is. Uh, the voice acting is really important. Obviously, the last time we remember, people like Trevor, he was so captivating and felt like a real person. They've got to get that right. Otherwise, the storyline will feel empty. By sticking together, being a team, 
This is the vibe. I think they've got in a good direction here, like having a, a, a couple, because then you're always wondering, like, what if one of them dies? What if one of them gets captured? You've then got another reason why one of them has to go after the other one. It's a very clever storyline that they put together there. Trust. Trust. All right. I'm in. Although, who kicked the door down? Because it would have been the man. Can we just double check? I don't want any of this. Yeah, it was her. That's a shame. Should have been the man, shouldn't it? That's a joke. Women can kick doors down as well. Ah, no! 2025. There's people watching this. He'll be excited. They'll be dead before this comes out. Think about the terminally ill. Release it early. There's people dying out there. Only Grand Theft Auto would do a trailer for a game that doesn't come out for over 12 months. Why are you doing this to us? Have we not suffered enough? Do you know how many times I've driven around fucking Grand Theft Auto 5? I can do it by memory. Okay, that was a quality trailer. So apparently this game is costing over a billion to make, which is insane. But that just shows how many of us are going to buy it. And also, it's going to be double the size of the last one. 70% of the buildings apparently are going to be enterable so this is going to feel like a living breathing world i can't wait let me know in the comments what exactly you're looking forward to doing most what you make of the trailer what you make of the characters and i'm going to do the odd video here and there as we get more information on this channel so don't forget to subscribe like the video thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one